Well, this is exciting, isn't it? I wanted to do some testing on uh, Bluetooth, some Bluetooth stuff. And um, I did done a video on these, uh, these Aria Pro, Avantri Aria Pro Bluetooth 5 headphones. And I realized that none of my transmitters had uh, were supported Bluetooth 5. So because I wanted the testing to be using, you know, two devices that supported Bluetooth 5, I just w decided to go on Amazon and get a couple of uh, different and new transmitters. And I thought I'd just quickly show you them so you can, I'll just give you my initial opinions on them really. And uh, these haven't been sent to me or anything. These are products that I've bought myself. Uh, but firstly, let's take a look at this one. I think they're both, these, bo these are both exactly the same chipset. They certainly seem to be anyway. Uh, this is the Golvery, this is what it's called. Yeah, you can have a look on the back here at that. The Golvery. BT B22 transmitter. And uh, it comes in a box like this. I think it costs about £35. So they're quite expensive, I think, for what they are. If you think they really are just little plastic things. And that comes in a box. But the manual in it, the manual is decent. Oh yeah, that was the point of this, was uh, that I wanted, I want to, uh, in a future video, test the fact that this says long range and has all these claims about being X, you know, really good range. And you have this one, which just, just doesn't. So it suggests that it is much lower range. And I want to see, is there honestly any difference between them? So it comes with a manual, which is all English and is pretty decent. I was quite impressed with the manual. Two little boxes inside. One containing the device and another, another containing various cables that you might need to use this. But that includes RCA to 3.5 mil. It includes a 3.5 mil to 3.5 mil. It includes a micro USB charging cable, and it also includes a Toslink cable as well. Look at that! You get a nice little Toslink cable in there. Only a cheap one, but you know. Nice of them to put that in there. Anyway, I don't really need any of those because I've got so much stuff like this that, that I don't have any need for any more cables of that type. So let's have a look at the product. This is the Golvery one. This is designed, and every bone in my body says that this should perform better, right? Because it's got aerials on it. But I'm not convinced that it will. And I'm, I'm not convinced that these aerials are even even bloody connected. I wouldn't be surprised if they're not. Uh, and and again, I, I sort of think that you have aerials like this in a kind of diversity situations when you're dealing with RF, as far as I know, but I can't really see why the Bluetooth would benefit from that or how, in fact, it would utilize two antennas in this way. I'm not quite sure how that works. But then again, I don't know. So... I'm still of the opinion that if something has its antennas free from the main unit, it surely will perform better, right? Anyway, let's take a look at the product a little bit closer up. So let me just uh, grab the zoom on my camera here and zoom in. Uh, so the good thing about this is that it has uh, all your codecs that it's using. So it tells you if it's using Aptex, it tells you if it's using Aptex HD, low latency or standard SBC. It does support AAC as well. Uh, but um, there isn't a light for that one. There is on this. There is on this one. It's the only benefit I see with this this one, actually, is the fact that it has a light for AAC. So that's not focusing, is it? Never mind. And it also has a quick kind of pairing buttons here, play, pause. So for rece if it's being used as a receiver, you can do play, pause, and track next track and things like that. You can also, with the play button, switch from low latency to HD mode in Aptex and you can hold down that button. There's various combinations of things you can do on this. If I take a look at the back, you can see that not only do I have an optical input, I also have an optical out, which is unusual. I haven't seen that on a Bluetooth transmitter before, but it, I guess it's just, you know standard really, isn't it? I mean, it's a logical thing to need, but of course, if you have optical out, you've then got an extra LED that's gotta be on all the time and that uses more battery. So you've got your DC5 in, you know, your micro USB in there, two Toslink opticals, and 3.5mm jacks there. 
And not only that, this supports NFC only as a receiver, so I can't connect this, I can't pair this up to a, a bunch of headphones, a pair of headphones if I use it as a transmitter. But as a receiver, this has an NFC chip in here too, so you can pair your stuff using NFC. Down the side here, we have our on-off, which is, I like to have a physical on-off switch. That pleases me. And then switching between receive or transmit. So if I turn this on now, it spang gets all its spangly lights up and running. And I have my pair of, um, my pair of headphones here, which are paired to this device. So they should connect pretty much immediately if I just turn these on. Yeah, there we go. So we see that it's connected. And they're connect these connect these headphones are connected via Bluetooth 5, via Aptex low latency. Decent. I like this. It's a nice little transmitter. And it's big. It doesn't obviously need to be anywhere near this big. Uh, but, you know, it's light as a feather. But I just like the fact that it's a, a device that just sits nicely on your desk. It looks like a little router, doesn't it, really? As long as you've got space for it, it's a nice thing. You can just stick this on top of your computer or something. I don't know. It works for me, this. I don't mind the fact that it's not a tiny device. Um, and surprisingly well made. It's plastic, but it's still, you know, it's, all the mouldings seem, seem decent. All right, it's not bad, that one. The other one I got, he says, turn around, is this. This is the Sonru. Functionality-wise, it's exactly the same as the other one. So that's what makes me say it's probably the same chipset inside. And this is... A, a Bluetooth 5 transmitter and receiver, and it looks like this. So it's more your sort of standard small Bluetooth transmitter and receiver, but it does, of course, still have your optical in and out and um, has just one auxiliary port there, so you don't have one for transmit and receive. It's not designed so much to be hardwired in permanently like that other one is. But you do have all your standard controls here down the side, so in the same way as on that other one there, you had these little you know, the ability to switch and, and pair stuff and play and pause there. You've got the same, exactly the same controls there. So I'm assuming this is made, I don't know, made in the same factory probably. Uh, it gives, I'll turn this on for you. And you can see, hopefully, it's not terribly, it's not terribly nice to use. You've got your sort of lights that flash underneath what's going on. It's And it kind of, obscures what you can see it I'll, I'll, I'll be honest and say this thing looks pretty nice i like the design of it i like this kind of like shiny plastic here versus the matte plastic here and this sort of not embossed but you know that kind of shiny uh, name on there i like that from a design point of view but as soon as you touch this thing you just think that is a load of crap it's plasticky as anything i feel like i could just pull this top off these switches are poorly lined up inside and it just, oh, they're, they're just difficult to turn on and off. It just feels horrible in the hand and um, is plas plasticky as anything. Does it work? Absolutely it works. It works just fine. I've had these two, these, these two kind of hooked together, connected with each other. I've had this connected. It works perfectly. But as far as build quality is concerned, this thing's nasty. Don't like it. So um, I wouldn't recommend <laughs> this one just uh, you can probably find something better out there but there aren't that many bluetooth 5 ones of these available they're all do watch out because a lot of them might say bluetooth 5 but if you look at the specs they're only bluetooth 4.2 um but that comes similar to the other one in fact exactly the same as the other one comes with your standard complement of cables including that same toslink cable so great yeah so they're about 30 34 pounds each these things 34 pounds for that seems pretty expensive to me. And even though this is doing exactly the same thing, 34 pounds seems a little bit more reasonable. If you've got the space, and depending on how you're going to want to use it, if you want to just carry this thing around, then that's obviously a convenient size for you. But if you want to have it permanently wired in, potentially, I'd definitely recommend this one, which is the, um, the Golvery. Golvery, was it? Where's the box gone? Here. Golvery. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'll put links in the uh, description. Uh, they will be affiliate links, so if you choose to use them, you'll be supporting the channel, and thank you very much, but it's up to you whether you want to do that or not. Yeah, this is the model BT... Uh, BT T22 or something. 
Thanks very much for watching. Just a quick look at these two transmitters, Bluetooth transmitters that I will be testing and using in a future video just to see whether or not the range claims on this one do in fact make any difference and whether it makes any difference. Having I might even take it apart actually, see whether these, these little things are even connected. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. See you soon.